So I'm just going to turn on this thing and see what happens. Caleb, I tried to learn gobbledygook, but it's not very easy. Well, for me, at least. It's like... No, that's not... Oh, yeah. I'm not very good at guitar. I have a sitting area in my room now, which is really awesome. And when I think about making the video for each week I have all these ideas in my head and I get really excited but then when I sit down to film it they all like run away. It's one of those things where the videos I make are never as good as like I think that they're gonna be. So I've got my paper of topics. Yay for Pocky Una. Pocky's delicious. Uh, strawberry's my favorite. I think I said that in a comment though. It looks like out of everyone I'm the only one who doesn't have a job or who never has had a job. So I should probably get a job. Maybe after tennis ends. Yeah. Okay. I want to talk about VidCon a little bit. Like, I didn't get to go, and I don't think any of you guys did either, because you might have said something. But it looked really fun, and I really want to go someday. I hope that they have another one. So, I didn't get to go to VidCon, even though I live the closest out of everyone here. Yeah. But I went to this other convention for anime. It was really fun. I don't even know what to say. A lot of people dress up there. I, di I don't dress up, though. I can sew things, though. This is a mold that I made for... Oh, well, we made them for chemistry, and then I decided to make more, and I gave them to some people for their birthdays, because I'm cheap, and I don't want to buy them things. Una's question was, what was the scariest thing that's ever happened to you? And she had a really interesting ghost story. That's pretty creepy. That, that seems pretty legit right there. I don't usually say legit, by the way. That's kind of a Bay Area thing, though. It's like, well, that's legit, or that's sick, or hella cool. I don't know if other people say that. What's the scariest thing that's happened to me? I, I don't have any real ghost stories, as far as I can remember. I did faint once. I was at the doctor's today, and then I remembered, like, two years ago when I had to go to the doctor. So I got, like, two shots, or I got a TB test and a shot for something and then then they were gonna prick my finger but then I just like fainted when they did I just like fell over and I think that freaked out my mom more than anything see I tried to stay away from potentially scary situations I, I've always been like a goody two-shoes I don't even I don't like to do anything that uh, like parents would look down on my friends always make fun of me for that though in fourth grade I still wouldn't want to go up on my friend's roof because you know, her parents wouldn't like that. <laughs> I went to the principal's office once in my entire middle school life, and that was because I wrote this, like, petition slash letter to the school about why I did not agree with their policy to suspend people for throwing things. It made me pretty upset. Mm. I like to stand up for people's rights. Some school is out. Oh, I just hit my lamp. Oh, I should show you my shirt. This is our group. We're the vertical asymptotes, as you can see. It was a very nerdy class. If you want to know what a vertical asymptote is, if you haven't taken Algebra 2, if you haven't yet taken Algebra 2, then you can ask me. So I saw Caleb's comment on Nick's video, and he, he just remembered to do some video thing. And that's really cool when things like that happen. How random things just trigger your memory. That happens to me, like if I had an interesting dream and then I don't remember it in the morning, but then I'll remember it, remember it like halfway into the day or even like two days later because some random thing triggers it. It's, it's really interesting. And like people say that deja vu is just, you know, something in your, mem <laughs> in your mind like that just like, I don't know. It's, it's not... It's not what we think it to be. It's not like a memory, but I still think that it is like, like I think that would be really cool if deja vu could be triggered by you know something that happens To you both in this world and in like a parallel universe with your other self, which is I Don't know. I like those kind of things if you guys want to add on to this discussion 
yeah, just, just say so in your video. Next week, I'm going on a week-long trip to Oregon with some relatives. I've never been to Oregon, so I don't know how that'll be. I think it'll be fun, though. And so I don't actually know if we have internet up there or what's happening. So I'll try to post a video if I can, but I don't know if I can make any promises. But I guess three of you guys are away this week and you kind of have the same problem. So, yeah. But we'll see. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Let me know how your guys' weeks are going, if you can post a video. And, so yeah, I'll see whoever posts the video next. <laughs> yeah, okay. Bye, you guys.